Some people call me the funniest person on the planet. I need to stop with these egg jokes. I just, I can sense that I'm kind of walking on eggshells with you. Others call me daddy. Like this insane baby we hatched. Five, four, three, two, one. And others, well, others call me a coward. Nope. Sorry. Nope. Get me out of here. I don't, I don't like the water. Mm -hmm. Because I am the UK's number one ARC esports champion and the greatest of all time, today I started to do some professional ARC player stuff. A little bit later, we come face to face with quite frankly the meanest dino that we have seen yet, but that's not what I'm talking about. The professional ARC player stuff I'm talking about is fences. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. Good afternoon, everybody. Good morning, everybody. I have a plan. <clears throat> I've just spent a little bit of time organizing, well, starting to organize my dinos into specific areas. It's getting a little bit clustered. And then I thought to myself, I want to be breeding saber toothers, but the baby saber teethers keep running away. It's really difficult for me to identify when anybody's going to be popping any eggs because everybody's all over the place so what i'm going to do within our compound here is actually build a series of pens so i'm going to keep all of the raptors in one pens all of the dilfs in one pens all of the sarcos in one pens because then nobody's going to be running about crazy and hopefully i'll be able to identify when we've had an egg or a baby because I'm, i've got my basically my favorites are these saber tooths but every time they mate that little baby is going to be running away so i want to be able to capture the baby so i can imprint on it and then we can have more and then i don't know how the egg system works i'm very excited to find out <laughs> oh you would have thought <laughs> you would have thought after all the wood jokes i would be leading by example <laughs> i'm trying to think of more but my head's a bit scrambled. Oh, stop. I'm going to make some pens. That, that's it. That's, that's, that's what I'm doing. Pens. It had got to the point that everything was starting to feel a little bit clustered in our compound. So we set about making a series of pens for the dinos. The first pen we were going to make was for the raptors. So we laid down the fence foundations, hopefully giving the raptors enough room, and then started to lay the fences down. Once we had completed that, we then ran into a problem. It's come to my attention. I don't... Again, I could be being stupid and I'm about to get flamed in the comments. Um, apologies. I don't know where that came from. There's no gate. There's not like a mini gate. Because... If I use what I use for the railings, like this. There's no, uh, like, door gate thing that appears there. And if I use my railings, then that's... Ooh, there's, there's no difference, if you feel me. But I could technically trap them in while the mating sort of thing. Um, I don't know. Uh, anyway, that's that's what we're going to do. So I, I choose... Oh, I'm way too overweight. Jeez, oh. Um, I'm going to get all of the raptors in this one. Like, oh! Oh, we got a baby raptor! We got a baby raptor! Quick, everybody, move out of the way so I can get the baby raptor. In here, in here, look, all of you. Hello! In here. All right, stop, 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 following. stop, following. We'll stop, following. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Look at him! What, level 76? Uh, I I'm genuinely giving up. Um, with with names and numbers. I've lost count, so I'm just going to name them random numbers. Uh, we tamed a level uh, 70 as I loaded up the game. I literally spawned right in front of a level 70 um, raptor here. Oh, shit. You're going to need food, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Imprinting 20%. What does that mean? What? 20%? 20% of what? Uh, I just need some meat from somebody. Here we go. Here we go. I feel like this is a big turning point in terms of getting uh, organized for everything. So let me just, here we go. So yeah, this was the levels. Oh, it's level 81. Um, basically what I did troops was, uh, I basically disabled the mating for 
all of the low-level raptors so that we're only getting the uh, the high-level raptors. I don't want it to get to the point where basically, I mean, I'd love everything to be over 100 for sure. But um, for now, we don't actually have a, over a level 100. But we'll get all of the high-level ones mating. So all of my raptors are now in there. I need to get saddles. And, if I get saddles for everything, then I can easily move things about. Okay, so there's my raptors. Um, let's, let's do one for me dilfs. Let's do one for me dilfs now. The dilfs would prove to be like a herd of baby toddlers and would eventually drive me insane. But nonetheless, having them inside a single pen made a lot of logistical sense. So we laid the foundations down, built the fences and tried to herd them all in. In he come. In he come. What the fuck? One of them just took a shit and then fell under... Nice. Right, in we come. Right. Everybody stay now. There must be an easier way to do this. But this is my way. It's my way or the highway. Right, what I'm going to do now is while I'm here, I'm just going to turn off the mating for all of the low levels. So what levels have we got here? Dilfs are level 146. Okay, you activate shagging mode so that's 146 and then look we got a level 152 you you're right you're in shagging mode and then basically we will turn off shagging mode for all of the others because i have a theory um an unconfirmed theory what level um that babies will never be higher level than the parents that's my theory so i only want my uh my top ones to be to be shagging basically all right now what's next what um let's make a pen <gasps> yes da da go look at that level 144 diego wants to cuddle with you oh my days i just cuddled a saber tooth tiger Next up, of course, was a pen for our beloved saber teeth. These were much easier to handle, largely due to the fact that I didn't have as many, so we took them away at the side of the compound. As useful as creating the pens for the dinos was, we weren't going to do one for every single dino that we had. Right, we've got Jeff. Right, we don't really need pens for... Yeah, we don't need pens for dinos that we don't have more than one of, I feel. Um, your level, Jesus, 212. Um, so that's okay. So we'll just fire the Dilfs in here. Right, I want you lot to try and come in with me. Uh, well, as we go and get more and more and more, then that's, uh, we can do that. But, oh. yeah, that's what I meant. I'm sorry, I'm so bad at talking, which isn't great considering I have a YouTube channel. But what I meant is that. I'll only make pens for dinos that I have multiple of. That's what I was trying to say. That whole thing. That's all I was trying to say. Um, one thing that I'm very, very keen to get multiple of is these Sarkos. So we're going to go see if we can get ourselves a Lady Sarko uh, in a minute. So there we are. Right. All the Dilfs are in there. The Raptors are more or less in there. We got our uh, Sabertooths down there. And then, oh God, why aren't you moving? Are you just stuck? All right, I don't care. We don't mind if the odd one's out and about. Right, brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Oh, stress. Before we went out on another adventure, though, we did something that was going to save us a lot of time and a lot of dead dinos. One of the problems that was developing the more we expanded our army of dinos and creatures was the fact that it was very easy to forget to feed all of the dinos. After all this time and effort in creating this army, it would be rather upsetting if they all died of starvation. Gonna be really sensible and make myself a few of these troughs so that we can make sure that we're not forgetting anybody. And I think this might mean if a baby is born, that they're not gonna die of starvation straight away. I don't know how what happens if I don't imprint on them in a while, um, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, won't we? Right, so let's just um, 
slap some at the back there. Now, that's got the radius, which is going to get those Dilphosaurs as well. Uh, we know that these ones are okay. Um, the saber tooths down here. So, what I might do is just put one here. And then, I think we'll maybe just put one... I know it doesn't look particularly good there, but that'll do. Right, now we just need to fill them with meats. I think, yeah, look, these have a bunch of meat. So, let's fire some in there. We also need to get the berries in as well, actually, don't we? Ooh! Oh, a raptor egg! Oh, we don't actually mind if that one dies. Uh, just... Oh, wait, too cold. Do we need to build a fire? Is that how the raptors... Oh, is that... I don't... <clears throat> I don't know. Wait, I mean, an egg would make... Uh, fire would make sense for an egg, wouldn't it? We'll cross that bridge. Don't worry. I know you are very excited, but we'll tackle the eggs a little bit later. For now, we focused on filling the feeding troughs with a plentiful amount of meat and berries, thus guaranteeing the everlasting survival of our creatures, at least until we took them outside of the walls of the compound. Speaking of going outside, we wanted to ensure that we had a consistent supply of metal on the go, so we planned to take Anakin back out to the metal rocks just up the hill from the compound. Except this time, we were going via the sky. I'm not 100% sure, though, how this works. So, say, for example, with Anakin here, we get him to carry 890. Frodo can only carry 607. Does that then mean... Frodo won't be able to carry Anakin, if you feel me. But we're going to give this a go. Apparently, if I fly over him... Like this... Ah, there we go! <laughs> Look at that! Wow! <laughs> so that doesn't seem to affect the weight. So now, we can literally just fly Anakin anywhere... To where there's loads of metal. Well, I really... Actually... Ugh. The only problem will be is uh, if if I can't pick him back up after he's full of metal. That would be the only problem. Especially since we're going up here. Wait, was there much metal up here? I can't remember. I don't think there was at the top, actually. Or maybe just fly around until we see some metal around here. It does tank uh, Frodo's stamina a little bit more, but that's expected. Listen, that's fine. Any metal around here? Oh, this is going to make so quick because oh, there's some metal here. Look, the, the, by, by far the biggest, the biggest downsize by far was this the speed of Anakin. Um, it, it was just, it was really kind of slow. Just, did you do that by yourself? Oh shit! Fuck! Time to bang! Oh. You did do that by yourself, didn't you? Holy shit, right? You stay down there and then we'll jump on top of Anakin and we'll just get all of these around here. Look. Loads of metal. I cannot understate the impact of having Frodo and how valuable he was to making decent progression. Not just Frodo, but all of the dinos. Every creature that we had tamed was another tool for us to use. Sure, I didn't really have a clue what most of the dinos did, but still, it was nice to have them all. <gasps> That's an alpha, isn't it? If it is, we need to go. 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 It's glowing red. We need to go! Frodo! Get Anakin, get Anakin, get Anakin. He can't tame alphas. Please, please work. Please work. Pick up. Yes! The, the math. The math doesn't math. And this time that is good. It, do, it doesn't matter how full Anakin is of stuff. Thing you can... Wait. What was it? I think we just keep pumping stats into weight for, for Frodo. Weight and stamina for Frodo. Um, oh, yes. This is so much quicker. So much quicker. 
Oh, the satisfaction of... I say I learned it. I didn't know. You guys let me know about this. But the satisfaction of doing it... Sensational. Sensational. Right, drop him. This now meant that I could leave the compound, gather about 1,000 bits of metal, return to the compound, whap the metal into the forge, and start smelting metal bars in less than five minutes. Absolutely massive progress, and you should absolutely like the video and subscribe to celebrate the fact. Thank you very much. Now that we had a bunch of metal being made in the background, though, it was time to set out on another adventure back down south. Now, if you've been following along, you'd know that south of us is a swampy area, which is usually a bad thing. But today, it's a good thing, because we were going to find a lady friend for Captain Hook. Ah, here he is, Captain Hook. Double checking you are a... Yeah, male. So we need to go find ourselves a female Sarko. That's the plan, save the game. So we're going to take um, our old faithful, Diego Senor. Diego Senor and uh, go and get ourselves uh, another Sarko just because I'm that good at the game that's the level of the we're at now oh let me just quickly nip down the coast to the swampy area and tame myself another Sarko right you're level 194 so realistically we're not gonna bother and waste our time with a low level Sarko ideally we want level 150 plus that would be ideal uh, what are we gonna pump our stats up to here I think getting the weight up is gonna help I think Diego's going to be my main mount. My main mount. So it'll be useful if he can carry the same amount of weight as me. Okay. So let's, uh, yeah, let's do it. Level level 150, please, minimum. 150 Sarko. Returning back to the marshlands, we kept a keen eye out for Sarkos and for anything that might present us any danger, which in these parts is just about everything. Oh, shit. Let's have our wits about us here. Oh, I spy one. I spy one. Oh, level 20. You peasant. You peasant. I need a lady. I need a lady and I need it to be over. 150, please. Okay. Right. Moving on, Diego. Oh. This is quite spooky. Oh. <gasps> what are we saying? Female level 10. Female level 20. So, if see if I got a level 190 that I've got for the male and then the females are level 10 does that mean it could still be a high level does that mean it's going to be between 10 and 190 or like say i got a level 150 and a level what level uh level 10 uh sorry if i got a level 190 and 150 does that mean that the level is going to be between 150 and 190 we had our eyes peeled as we tentatively explored this swamp area. Here, everything felt dangerous. Out of the corner of your eye, you think you're seeing an approaching Sarko, when it turns out to just be the roots of a tree. Perhaps I shouldn't have been too worried about the bigger creatures in this swampy marshland and instead paid closer attention to the smaller creatures. Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh shit, there's a little bug. That's fine. Don't worry about the bug. Don't worry about the bug. Whoa, what the fuck is- Oh! Shit, fight to break free! Yeah. Give me my What? Shit, what's that? Where is it? Fuck What the hell are these? They're not Sarko I'm injured Yo, Diego What is it? 
I don't want it. Do I want it? I mean, fuck it. We'll take it. I guess you're a meat eater. Taming 0%. Right, hold on. Let me go on Diego. What the? Yeah, yeah. Save the game. That's a great idea, actually. What, what's going on? Jump on. What? Why are you not letting me jump on? Oh, Diego, what's that on your face? What is that on your face? Minus level 60, what? How do I? What's going on? No. Diego, say, wait, what's going on? What? What is that? Can I punch it off you? I'm sorry. It's not letting me ride, Diego. Why? I don't know. Maybe if I take the saddle off. And then... Put the saddle back on. It doesn't let me ride. What is that thing? What is it? I, right now, I don't care. You... Every time I go and click to ride him... It doesn't let me on. Is this a bug? Is this a bug or is it to do with that bug? Hold up. I'm going to save the game and then I'm going to exit the main menu. Then I'm going to come back in and we're going to see what happens. I don't know whether this is a bug or whether that's a thing. But is it a, is it a computer bug? Oh, wait, it's not there. Look, it's underneath. I can access that thing's inventory, the Capricious. But every time I click on Diego... Like, nothing's happening. Oh, <gasps> leech! Ah! It was the bug, not the computer bug. Oh, Diego, I'm so sorry for punching you. You know it was from a place of love and concern, though. And then, right, let's have a focus of you. You're vicious. Level 22. If we could get a higher level one. That would be ideal. Right, let's uh, keep looking around and just let's have our, save the game. Let's have our wits about us. We had now realized that there were things as dangerous as sarcos in these parts. So we were viciously clenching as we wandered around, which we did for quite a while. We couldn't see a high level lady sarco anywhere. The best we could find was a level 20. At this point, we were getting equal parts frustrated and bored, so we decided it might be best just to tame one anyway, and then at least we can figure out how to hatch a Sarko egg. We might we might just have to try and tame the, these low-level female ones, and just kind of see what we get level-wise with uh, the Sarkos, and indeed maybe how they, um... Shit, how they uh, lay eggs, right. There's two of them here. They are quite low level. There's one, I think. There should be two. No problem. That's a problem. Problem. No, they're down. They're down. Right, hop off. Hop off. Uh, female. Shit, I need meat. I need meat. Diego, you got... Yeah, you got plenty of meat. Right. Some meat for you. And some meat for you. Right, so two females here. 125 and 110. We'll, we'll take them both just because. And uh, yeah, then we'll try the... Um, we'll try and see if we can uh, get them to hatch an egg. It was lucky for us that we did try to tame these two beasts. Because while we were waiting on them coming around, Jesus. something caught our eye. Jesus Christ. Oh, Oh, there's another one there. Please be big. Oh, <gasps> yes! Oh, oh, female Sarko, level 100. That's the ticket. Right, this is dangerous, though. We're in their territory. Where'd it go? There it is. There it is. I think, is that it? Yeah. Alright, we're just going to keep spamming it from here. Hopefully, if we can get it this distance, this will be okay. Oh, shit. Uh, 
Fuck. Why am I not hitting it? There we go. I was aiming too high. Go to sleep, bitch. Oh no, we're gonna have to hunt. Oh, I don't wanna get this close, but YOLO. Oh, it's asleep. It's asleep. It's asleep already. Fan. Okay. This is gonna take a while, but, um, what's that? Oh shit. Oh fuck. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, it's fine. It's dead. It's dead. It's dead. Right, quick, 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 quick. Uh, food in inventory. Actually, I think if we give it prime meat, does that make it go quicker? What most wild carnivores love this meat. All right, taming. Those are the two. We don't care about them anymore. They're gone. 25. 25 and level 10. We got ourselves a level 100 here. Fantastic. Okay, now we just got to wait. Wait and then figure out how we're going to breed these babies. So when we see the, when we see the raptor egg, it spoke about it being too cold. So I'm presuming that once we've got an egg laid, we'll be able to see what the need of the egg is. So we'll be able to add in a campfire or anything like that. So uh, it's just a waiting game now. This is, you know what? Now you're in it. It's quite a pretty area, like with the water and everything. It's very transparent water, which I like. I just don't like the creatures that live here. This thing was an absolute beast, and as such, she was taking her sweet time getting tamed. Rather than waiting about, my feet getting trench foot in the swampy waters, we decided to have a look around. What are you? Is that like a baby spiner? No, I mean, it looks like a mix between the Spinosaur and Ron. Level 100, 149. Save the game. That is definitely female, isn't it? It is. Right. Save the game. Did I save the game? You save the game. Save the game. We're going home. Right. Follow and f you follow me. Follow me. You f follow. Come on. Come on. This way. We just need to get ourselves home. I feel like the, the, this uh, this swampy area is a bit of a nightmare for creatures following just because there's so many like roots and trees and that uh let's go through this way it took a while but eventually i was able to navigate our new tames out of the swamp and back onto the grassland unfortunately though i also led us right into a group of snakes oh shit oh shit oh god oh shit just, no, kill the snakes. Just kill the snakes. Kill the snakes. Kill the snakes. Just kill them. Kill them. Kill them. Kill them. Kill them. Kill them. Shh. Aggressive. Everybody. No. Everybody aggressive. Oh, oh. I don't like. I don't like that these aren't dead yet. Don't like that these aren't dead yet. Ooh, why is this one not dying? It's level 80. Jesus Christ. We good? We good? Everybody good? Everybody good? Wait, what happened to... Wait, where's the other thing? Where's... The what? The what? The what? The, the what you call it? <gasps> it died! Oh, that's not good, is it? When it was only level 22. Okay. I don't know if that, that, I don't think they're going to be better than Sarko, surely. It was unfortunate, but the main thing was we had managed to tame ourselves a high level Sarko. Thankfully, there were no dramas on the remainder of the journey back home, and we arrived safe and sound. Okie dokie, we're back. Captain Hook. Boy, do I have somebody I would like you to meet. Alright, let me take all of these off, because I'm getting a bit hot. Getting a bit hot. Right, shut this. Um, right, let's give the Sarkos a bit of room. A bit of room. So, I want you following me. And then we'll hop on Captain Hook. Let's just oh, bring you over this way. Oh, my God. Right, just here. Just there. 
and then you stop right so we will enable shagging mode enable shagging mode and then you two get mating and then it'll be eggs i'm guessing so we just gotta wait wait for them figure out how how that works oh we definitely want another car now that's what we'll do after once we've figured out how the eggs are working we'll then take frodo and go to the mountain uh was it that one there was a bunch of carnos i feel like they're near the mountains really would like some t-rexes so we can maybe go have a look at the uh this island again yeah save the game save the game oh am i out of wood here i am out of wood i am out of wood we got any more wood any more wood right well while they're doing that i'll be sensible and uh i'll jump out on derek again and we'll just go get some more wood after we got back from collecting the wood on derek we noticed an egg in the dilphosaur pen eggs help too hot i put them near the water is that cooler Like here? Incubating. Oh. <clears throat> Wait, did dinos give off their like own heat? And that's why they're too hot. Or too cold. The, yeah, they were too hot. So I put them down here. Now they're too cold. And I think that incubation thing going down is a good thing. We'll find out in 15 seconds or so. The old faithful, we weren't meant to get attached to you. And lo and behold. Okay, here we go. Two, one. Oh! Hello, children. I can't be asked naming you. Level 78. Again, what, what I'm going to do is very, very soon when we, uh, when we go to the caves. We, um... We're going to take all of the dilphosaurs uh <laughs> literally every single one of them and and take them all with us to the cave just to be like the meat shields of everything all right you come over here they're not following me anymore okay that's fine right what's going on with these eggs then are we, are we, what are we saying are we too hot are we too cold uh too hot oh shit raptor egg oh look at it it's all black too cold jesus christ what about here too too cold all right i'll put it next to the furnace now i know what you're thinking yes i am an idiot but so were you before you figured out how to hatch an egg we placed this egg in various places and to no avail frustrated I figured this was one of those times where we could treat ourselves to a cheeky Google. Here, we learn a pretty cool trick for getting these eggs to hatch. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Now that is a strat. Look at this. If I do this and make a bunch of these. So let me get some flintstone thatch and wood. Right. What we can do is we can actually make... A little like egg incubator area where we hope well according to this video can manipulate the temperature this is very clever kind of annoyed i didn't think of this because i'm that level of the game now i should be able to think of these elite strats but we get these done uh where are we looking here so drag these out like this so if we literally just oh bosh right i put the egg down now so it's there too cold oh wait shit i need how do you fuck is it wood that you need yeah i fire And then if you need loads of temperature, I can just... Oh, genius. 
Genius. Don't worry, I'm going to get somebody for you, Carno. Right, awesome. I don't think there was any more eggs. Save the game. Don't think there was any more eggs. But now we know what we need to do. Excellent. Whilst it was nice being able to get more raptors and dilphosaurs through our newly created egg incubator, they weren't that high level. So I wasn't sure how much use they were going to be further down the line. I wanted to turn my attention to the bigger carnivores and find ourselves a nice love interest for Carno. Right, let's not waste the night. Um, what we're going to do now is I would love a female Carno. The Carno Dino thing. Uh, yeah, that's a male. Okay, so we're going to go look for a female one of them. All right. Um, I think... Ooh. Level up. Level up. Oh, I, I, I never know what's best. Uh, stamina, probably. Uh, but yeah, I'd love a female one of them. So, I think... It was either this mountain or the ice mountain. But I feel like there's a lot of them about. We, we saw a ton of them. So, we're going to go and have a look at them. Look at that. Oh, I've left that torch on the go. Oh, that's fine. We won't worry about that. But look, we have literally just learned about eggs. I feel confident now. We can breed anything. Um, got ourselves a bunch of baby ones, uh, which are fine like the Sarko. I don't know why. In my head, I thought that... I mean, yeah, of course, crocodiles don't... No, cro crocodiles do lay eggs. No, they don't lay eggs. Biology aside, I feel like we're doing well. So, we're gearing up to be able to have enough creatures... What in God's name is that? Oh, an Alpha T-Rex at level 15. Oh, that looks massive. Ooh, we could, uh, we could go check that, um, the island, although, yeah, we'll maybe check the island. Whenever we have visited the small island just north of our compound, we have always come across plenty of big dinos. We figured this might be a better place for us to search for a love interest for Carno. So, off we popped in pursuit. Except, we didn't get very far, because we saw what was quite possibly the meanest looking dino we have ever seen. What the fuck are they? Wait, they're T-Rexes. Hold up. Drink. There you go. Are they T-Rexes? Allosaurus. The fuck's an Allosaurus? Oh, fuck me. Whoa, 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 Frodo. Chill. Allosaurus. I had never seen you before. See if we can third party them. Oh shit! Go sleep, go sleep, go sleep, go sleep, go sleep, go sleep. Shit! We're fine, we're fine. We're fine, we're fine. No, Frodo, Frodo. Honestly, honestly, I'm fine. Passive. It's gonna get knocked out. It's gonna get knocked out. See? See? Oh, I killed it. Oh. Where'd the other one go? He is low. Fuck. Go sleep, go sleep, go sleep, go sleep, go sleep, go sleep. Go sleep, go sleep, go sleep, go sleep. You'll be great. I'll take you. You'll be great. Go to sleep, go to sleep. Am I using the right? Yeah. Oh, it's a big one. Come back here. Come back here. Why are you running? didn't mean to kill it well that didn't quite work out why didn't why didn't that that, that died quite quickly definitely should have brought some more trank arrows with me is that another one level 50 shit oh don't don't aggro on me already 
Oh, yeah, yeah, go after that. Go after that. Shit. We're fine. I'm fine. I, I Listen, I got great armor. Great armor. Oh, God. What's going on there? Don't go after Frodo. Why do they keep running away? Please just sleep. Please just sleep. Wait a little bit. Wait a little bit. Wait a little bit. Wait a little bit. Let the torp set in. Let it sink in. Oh, like that. Like that. Oh, wait, not that stuff. Eventually, we successfully tamed him. And in the true spirit of originality, named him Alan. He was a mean looking dino that looked like a cross between a raptor and a T-Rex. With Alan in tail, we flew back to the compound to keep him safe. Not that he needed the walls to protect him, I was pretty sure he'd do a good job of that himself. Whilst we were back at the compound, we replenished our trank arrows and then headed back out towards the island. Female one, but again, it's low level. Ooh, she's pink. Level 120. Oh. Maybe. Whoa, 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 whoa. We don't like this. High ground, high ground. If we get up here, the T Rex is. is in the mountain. Look, if I set her this one down here. A level 120 T-Rex. Yes, please. Please tell me I can cheese you. Then you're not going to... Oh! Don't fall down, for the love of God. Yes! Come out where I can shoot you more. Oops. Oh. You can't climb. <laughs> oh, wait. You can go around, though. When I say this Rex took me a while to knock out, I mean it took me a while to knock out. It kept wandering back and forth, and I kept having to fly from peak to peak with Frodo, as I didn't exactly want to subject myself to a fist fight with this pink T-Rex. However... There comes a point where there is a battle between fear and impatience. And this time, my impatience won out. Bored of clambering to the top of hills to shoot from above, I chased the pink dino down, boots on the ground, firing as fast as I possibly could. Come back, bitch. Come back, bitch. Oh! Yes! 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 You are going to take a monstrously long time. And I wasn't wrong either. This was probably the longest I had had to wait to tame a dino. But for a level 120 T-Rex, I was willing to wait as long as it was going to take. Instead of waiting around, we put Frodo on guard and decided to have a nosy about. We had never been to this side of the island before, so I was keen to explore. We ended up finding an explorer note from Rockwell, hidden in the ruins of a would-be old building. And perhaps more interestingly, we found a cave. At first, we thought it would just be a through tunnel to the other side of the hill. But as we entered in, we realized this went further down. We marked it as a waypoint, as we weren't prepared to enter another cave until we had our revenge with the previous one. Except... Like I said before, about the battle between fear and impatience. It was now a battle between fear and boredom. This Rex was taking an age to tame, and even after killing some local predators, we found ourselves with itchy boots, so we decided to have a look further into the cave. Decent arrows there, right, let's just go put me noggin in. Set the game just just to see how far it goes. I don't know if this is one of the ones that goes down, whether it's just like a little one. Oh, I don't have my torch on me, do I? No. Yes, I am fully aware that the torch was not only in my inventory, but also highlighted. But give me a break. My focus was on this cave. 
We trudged down deeper until we noticed a strange noise. <gasps> what the? Oh, heebie-jeebies, man. Do I have to go in the water? Something's calling to me. I can hear it. Something's pulling me in. I don't like this. I really don't like this. YOLO. Okay. I think that's the bottom. I think that's the bottom. It's not far. 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 It's far. No, 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 no. I can't. I'm, I'm, I can't do that. No, 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 no. Oh, no. We, um... No. <laughs> no, we need to find something that's smaller than a Sarko that can go faster in water if I'm going to attempt that. I'm not doing that on foot. Not a chance. Nope. Sorry. Nope. Get me out of here. I don't know, like the water. Ooh. Pretty cave, though. Minus the water bit. Save the game. There are seldom better things in life for a welcome distraction from thalassophobia-induced willies than the successful taming of a level 120 pink T-Rex. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is exactly what happened. Oh, shit. Look at that. Taming effectiveness plus 59. Does that mean that's going to be like a lot of 180? We really need to get ourselves a high level, a high level Rex. Oh, I know I'm calling you straight away. Pink, look at you. Oh, <laughs> oh. Ooh, I got the willies then. Oh, I really got the willies then. <laughs> Look, you're like armor on your shin bones, you all pink. That's, you are majestic. Majet, 179 T-Rex. Come on. This was perhaps the most powerful dino we had in our army. Sure, we had higher level dinos, but T-Rexes just looked the coolest, and I was excited to get her home and start breeding. Given everything that we had been doing these past few days, we were going to be in an incredible position to retake the cave which we had perished in so many times. Sure, the T-Rex wasn't going to fit into the cave, but the fact that I was now capable of taming high level Rexes filled me with the confidence to take on the cave once again. But before we could even think about any of that, we had to get a home. And the Ark Gods were indeed shining down on us today as on the way to collect a raft on the other side of the shore to transport Pink home, we noticed a level 70 female Kano. We of course tamed the shit out of her, which meant that we now had a T-Rex and a Kano to transport home. We recovered the raft and brought it over to the island. Here, we were going to have to expand it a bit in order to fit both dinos on so we added some foundations and some flooring to allow enough space for another Dino the Dino Slayer water taxi service to get our newly tamed beasts home. Let's go home. Is it going to be quicker me just going to... No, we're going to take this all the way home, actually. Save the game. We'll take it all the way home. I don't want to waste the resources. Can I... <sighs> we're going to... Uh... I was going to say, it's kind of weird having the uh, the boxes underneath. Wah. I do know when I did check, by the way, before anyone shouts. Um, there is the, the motorized raft float thing. But the, the amount of resources that needs, you're talking 1,200 metal for it alone. And this will do the job. Now, obviously, when we're taking down to the South Cave, um, we're not going to be taking the T-Rexes. Um, which are the biggest of, the, of, of our dinos. So we don't have to worry too much about that. But I'm thinking about actually making like a two-tiered um, raft so that we can maybe like put 
all of the, the dilfs upstairs, the raptors and stuff, get them all up there. Um, and I'm, I genuinely am going to take every single one of them. All of the raptors, all of the dilfs, all of the carnos, all of the sarcos. Now they are going to be tough to fit on, but all of them, get them all there. One big army just in. It's going to be, the frames are going to be horrendous. It'll be about 10 FPS every time we go in, but, but I think it'll be worth it. Um, we know we can clear the cave. No, oh, don't like that. <laughs> no problem at all. It's when we get to the Sarkos and we don't know what's beyond the Sarkos either. Um, so we kind of need to be prepared for everything. Feel very, very confident because... Oh, the Sabertooths as well. Because we've got so many high Sabertooths. Because we've got so... I might not take Diego Senior though. Just because if shit hits the fan for whatever reason, want to make sure that we have one high Sabertooth. Um... Because the Sar um, the Sarkos I think we'll need, but we have enough saber teeths that we don't need to take Diego. That that means that if, if everybody dies, then we've still got Diego to kind of get going with the family again. So look who I have troops. <laughs> 179 level T-Rex. <laughs> you come with me. Wait, is oh tricks of a night. Are you please be male? Yes. You two. I'm just gonna let you get to know each other. Have a great time. Be safe. And uh do me a favor and pop out an absolute mutant child, please. Right, and then you come here come here wait i did get this right male f yes and then i'll just let you two have a special love hug oh let's go things got even better when we realized that the sarcos had now laid an egg and the carnals had wasted no time at all and popped one out as well and just when you thought things couldn't get even better the rexes the horny devils that they are also laid an egg which meant that we now had three eggs to hatch but i put this here as well the t-rex egg oh it's massive and that's incubating oh my god the size of that egg that really is excellent i need to stop with these egg jokes i just i can sense that i'm kind of walking on eggshells with you <laughs> no don't worry i don't have any more my head's all fried genuinely i don't think i have any more i might jump on google and poach some though oh. okay stop stop yoking around Baby Carno that I can't Oh shit, right, hold up you. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh level 124, let's go. Come over here. That's not an egg, that's shit. Pop them down like that. There we go. We're still good. Awesome. Save the game. How long? 18 seconds. That's going to take a little bit longer. Ooh, I wonder what level this um, T-Rex is going to be. Obviously, we don't need the T-Rexes for the cave, but I'm sure they will definitely come in useful. And uh, a baby sack, 159. 159. Okay. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5... Four, three, two, one. Oh, 155. <laughs> and you're pink. Oh, we're going to have an army. We'll take that 155. Sheesh. Right, you wait there. A lot's gone on today. A lot. The family is growing exponentially. Hold up, my Masako's needing something. Please just need a hug. Nah, fuck that. Right, anyway, we're going to end this episode here, troops. It has been uh, insanely successful. We didn't really go on too many adventures, but that's okay. Because next episode, I plan on going a big one. Back to the cave. Troops, thank you so much for watching. A big shout out to my members and my patrons. You guys are making a massive, massive difference, and I really, really do appreciate your support. But, 
most importantly, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Click.